What's up, guys? I miss you so much. I'm already back. So, uh, I saw some of the responses to the videos, and um, everybody wished me luck on the tuna trip. So, thank you so much, guys. I hope that uh, that good luck brings me a nice fish uh, on one of these center pins. But uh, anyways, I figured I'd go old school here, and this way I wasn't focused on what I look like the whole time, and I could show you guys some stuff from uh, from my view. Um, most of all, I wanted to take the time to show you guys a Mitten State series, and if you guys haven't heard uh, what, the Mich what the Mitten State is, that is what they call Michigan because it's shaped like a mitten in the Lower Peninsula. So we got some cool stuff planned. We're talking about doing a Petoskey Stone in the inlay of the clicker so that's pretty neat so i have a few of the models right here to show you guys we are doing the standard seamstress so it'll be like this but without the the steps down on the otolith um we are going to do the drifter style which has the bigger holes same thing as this but uh it's called the pier marquette drifter for obvious reasons because you guys love the winter run so much, we're bringing this back out. We have a Fjordish reel that I hope you guys can help me with a name. And uh, we have a drop back, which is going to be just like this, but a 565 instead of a 6. And we're going to have a delta that's similar to this. And I'm not sure what type of delta it is. The way that we come up with the delta names is... Depending on how many holes will depend on the number that follows the name Delta. So I'm assuming that it's going to be like a Delta 1250 or something like that. But don't quote me on that. It might have 1500 holes. Who knows? We'll see what Tony comes up with. Um, some of you guys uh, said that I better have some gloves for the tuna I'm going after. This is my little tuna pile for my trip here. I got some Sims gloves with uh, what I hope is going to be heavy duty enough uh, leather on the palms um, this is my weapon of choice I'm gonna spool this up with some 80 pound braid or 100 pound braid and uh, we're gonna take this baby out there and hopefully I'll be able to hammer on some fish pretty excited I got uh, I got a rain jacket here um, from Sims and uh, Challenger bib so pretty stoked um, and uh, so, yeah, I don't know what you guys have been up to. I've been fishing a little bit. We've been making reels. Um, we're so busy, and uh, <laughs> we actually had uh, John, um, Tony, who those are the engineer and the machinist for our reels, uh, and myself. We were actually all polishing parts the other day to try to get them done a little bit quicker for you guys to get to the plater. But Anyways, I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is that new reel I was talking about called the Tamarack. So it's got the same sort of curves as the Sequoia has, but it's a regular drifter pattern. So you got that same finger hole ability and all that stuff. Really super cool. Um, just absolutely beautiful. We did the texture rim again. Uh, you could also get them without a textured rim if you order ahead of time, but... Everybody loves them. One little tip, if the texture rim is too much for you guys, like if you're going to buy one of these in hard coat where the textured rim lasts longer, you could simply just put a little bit of wax on the rim if you find that the fish are um, messing up your girly hands or whatever. I'm just playing. They, uh, they roach my fingers too if you get a really hot salmon. Steelhead, not so much. You don't got to really worry about it much, but... You hook into some kings with these things and you don't have the rim broken in, meaning you haven't caught some fish on the rim to smooth it out a little bit, it could chew you up pretty good. But I'm always proud of a guy when he sends me a picture of a bloody finger because I know he uh, <laughs> he had to fight through that while he was landing a fish. But, um, you know, it also, finger placement is kind of key, you know. I oftentimes will push, like, down here on the spool with my fingers to slow the reel down rather than wrapping my hand around this if I know it's going to be an issue. Um, so, uh, yeah, we have that. That's a Tamarack. This one is the Dreamcatcher. So we have Dreamcatcher 565s coming out. That's super cool. This is kind of a one-off deal that we did. It's kind of a... We were seeing how the Delta looked on the Sequoia-style spool, and that's what we got. So we'll have a couple of these. Um, it's probably going to look pretty cool because... 
we do these two tones where we uh, will sandblast the center of the spools. Um, so you get kind of a two-tone gloss and uh, gloss and matte finish. Um, of course, we brought back out the sequoias. So these are now in 5.65. They're absolutely beautiful. You got to get one if you don't have one of these. This one, I don't know what to call it. It looks like the sublime bad fish to me, um, the sun on the cover of that that uh, album. So I was thinking about calling this one the bad fish or the fjord bad fish. It's got the finger tabs in there, pretty wicked reel. It's got the curves and everything. So really excited to see what this one looks and fishes like when it's all anodized and put together. We have uh, the winter run, of course. This is the Pure Marquette Drifter, which is your standard flat drifter size. If you went, um, these reels are going to start at about 500, oh, I'm sorry, 600 bucks. So uh, you could get a black on black or a single color on single color, trimmed out in any color for the handle post center cap and knob on the back that you want for starting at 600 bucks. And then the more you add to it with the hard coat or any sort of splash finishes, um, it will kind of go up from there. Um, and we're doing a few other ones. Like I said, we're doing the Delta. I don't have one of those spools here. We are doing the Hydra. We have a variety of back plates to choose from. These ones are all non-porting here. Um, we'll have a three. We have a three-row uh, hole. We have a one-row hole. We have a. Um, we have one of the back plates where uh, the single row goes around the entire reel. Um, and we have one that looks like a cheese grater that's all ported out. You guys know I don't love fully ported reels. So, so yeah, um, that's what we got going on now. Um, I really hope I got some cool footage for you guys this weekend. Tony does, uh, does a whole GoPro thing. You guys know I don't. But, uh, yeah, Tony does a GoPro thing. So hopefully we'll have a video of me trying to conquer the mighty bluefin. That's hopefully a little baby one with the center pin, and uh, I will share that with you guys. I appreciate everything. I appreciate all the support, guys. You really, uh, you really mean the world to me. Um, everyone that's a customer of the shop, you guys have become like family to me, and I do really appreciate everything you got, everything that you guys do for me. These are all little mini pins in here, and I wanted to leave you guys with something. You know, the other day I was listening to, I think it was on TikTok or something, but um, it was a quote from somebody, and they were talking about how if you, um, how you should go to the person you idol and you should ask them to work for them for 90 days, and at the end of 90 days. If you did a good job, they would offer you a job or give you connections in life. And uh, and it was really, it, it gave me chills. But the one quote that was really important was they said, money only spends once, but knowledge monetizes itself forever. And I didn't read that off a piece of paper. So if I didn't quite get that right, I apologize for that. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, take that to heart. Money only spends once, guys. So spend it on some sweet reels or something else here at the shop. You know I love you guys. I appreciate everything. I hope you're staying uh, happy, safe, healthy, and fishy. And I hope to see you guys on the river this fall. Got lots of cool stuff here for you. But, again, I love you guys. Stay safe. See you out in the water.